What up, YouTube? This is your president, the president of Terrace Back on Earth. Drink food, taste as video. I got another foreign pop, and um, make sure I show you. I picked this up at shoot a place called Uniform Unicorn Castle. They're located at the Eagle Ridge Mall. They have a cool amount of different um, foreign and um, old-fashioned type candy drinks. And some other stuff but the amount of different candies and drinks they have there is really a huge and they're really nice there and i picked up several pops and some candies i plan to review on this channel some i already reviewed and some i still gotta do but here's one i saw there this is a foreign fanta i'm i i seen not in person but i've seen pictures of fanta shaped like this i think this is chinese i could be wrong I have to do a little bit more research. I did not get a chance. And I'm sure there's someone out there yelling at me, Michael, Michael clearly says Japanese or clearly says Chinese. Well, I don't speak or read either of those languages. It could even be Korean. I'd love to. I think it would be a very cool language to know, a very complicated language to know. But I would love to know it, but I don't. So I'm not sure which one this is from. And I think that's supposed to be peach. I think. I will look into this and I will put it, when I find out, I'll put in the title of what country it's from. In a way, this is a cool aluminum can. You could technically reuse this. Fill it up with water and stuff. Aluminum bottles like this actually stay cold a decent amount of time, I found. I was just going, let's get going to try this. I don't remember how much this was. This probably was like $5. You have to keep in mind, when you buy these from stores like Unicorn Castle, don't get upset at them because for these things being so expensive, there is shipping, import fees, taxes. It costs a lot to be able to get this from all the way across the world to here. It's not like buying a Fanta that's made in the United States. This is going to be expensive. This is how it is. Oh, that is definitely peach. And it smells so, so delicious. I should have had a cup to pour this in, but I didn't get a chance to get one. Here it is. Oh, that is really good. I've actually found most drinks I've gotten from Asia to be fantastic. Yeah, you, you taste that classic peach flavor. And you know it's peach? Even though I don't think real... If I had a peach like in my hand and eat it, it doesn't quite taste the same. But I think it's really hard to recreate that flavor. I don't know if they use natural or artificial ingredients in this. But it still tastes pretty close and pretty good. Sweet, though. I have no idea what the sugar content is on this. I could drink this all day. It's, I don't know. Um, it's almost like it's more natural tasting than pop here. I do know the lesser ingredients in pop, the better. Especially if it uses more natural stuff. Unfortunately, a lot, of, a lot of soda pops, they use a lot of artificial ingredients now. Cold can, I know that. I'll probably keep this one. But yeah, it's delicious. Like I said, I'll do some more research and I'll find out exactly what country this is from. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be China. But it could be Japan. It could be Korea. It could even be Vietnam. I don't think so. I know there's differences with the, with the writing and everything. And the symbols, but I do not have the eye for that, so I don't know. I mean, yeah, I can't make any sense of it, what this says at all. But I do know it's it's really delicious. But this is Fanta Peach, and I like it. And I would definitely be willing to buy this again. All right, that's it. Any comments, questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.